Hey guys, Penadaily here, and welcome to my newest Let's Play. Obviously, as you can see, we are going to be playing everybody's favorite RPG. Well, darn near. Chrono Trigger. Yeah. This is generally, or widely considered to pros quite probably be the best game RPG on the Super NES and quite possibly of all time. It is one of Square's classics. And we're going to play it. I've never seen... I actually have never just seen what happens if you sit there on the screen. Ooh! Let's watch! Yeah, uh, I sort of expect... There will probably be some uh, spoilers in this. Just... Because, yeah, like I said, we're, we're, we're in the attract mode. We're, we're watching some spoilers. But not huge, because, you know, they did sort of expect that you would be, um, you know, would, might watch this before you played the game. So, hey, let's watch. It does look pretty interesting, doesn't it? And, of course, there's the music. Character design, Akira Toriyama. Yeah, this is probably the first a lot of us in the West would have heard of Akira Toriyama. Because I don't think Dragon Ball really became a thing over here until DBZ, and that was after this. Yeah, let's see. Don't know any of those names. Oh, look, we're about to take on Castlevania. No, not really. But that was a pretty impressive uh, sequence. You know, for the Super Nintendo. Ooh. Yeah, that's another thing is that this game has some pretty interesting, uh, enemy... <clears throat> yeah, placement. Or, uh, enemy variety. And some interesting spells. Don't know any of these people. It's, it's kind of cool to watch the program from the beginning. Drag, drag. And, of course, there's the showing off those lovely Mode 7 graphics. Because, yeah. I mean, that's 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 the Super Nintendo. Ooh, I feel a little nauseous. Sorry. Or nauseated. Nauseous actually means making someone nauseated. Zombor. Yeah, I sort of... If you have never played Chrono Trigger, then I'm sorry for the mild spoilers. But you're also, apparently, you've been, you know, deliberately living under a rock for the past 20 years. Because if you haven't played it or seen it played, you've been actively avoiding it. It's almost impossible otherwise. And there. All right. So now let's play. Let's start a new game. All right, so we can do active or wait. You all know my issues with uh, battle. So we're going to uh, wait. Start. A. And we're just going to name him Chrono because we always do. I'm that kind of... I'm that kind of uh, player. So we start with a very nice picture of the world. Mine. 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 Fireworks, I guess. Or exploding balloons. One or the other. Obviously, it's a party. And we pan over the area. Chrono. Chrono! Good morning, Chrono! And so, like many a JRPG protagonist before us, we spoke dart the game over sleeping. Come on, sleepyhead, get up! Ah, Lean's Bell makes such beautiful music. You were so excited about the Millennial Fair that you didn't sleep well, did you? I want you to behave yourself today. Let's get moving now. And here is our hero, Chrono. He has hair spiky enough to be a Super Saiyan. We have, check this out, that's apparently a typewriter. 
I'm not sure what that is in the corner. Maybe it's a lamp? No, that's a lamp. I really don't know what that thing is next to it. But we got a book, and I think that's a radio. So, yeah, despite some of what the time period says, this is sort of a fantasy-esque modern time. I mean, look at the kitchen. Finally. By the way, that inventor friend of yours... Uh, you know. Oh dear, I've forgotten her name. Mm, yeah. We're just gonna go with the standard Luca. No Suzanne Vega jokes. That's right, Luca. Don't forget that she invited you to see her new invention. Run along now and be back before dinner. Uh, okay. Also, our cat follows us. Sort of. You can see we got another radio. I'm guessing that's what it is. Um, a, a stove with an oven, an actual refrigerator, and indoor plumbing. Okay. Yeah, we can make the cat mew if we talk to it. And if we talk to our mother again... Oh, I almost forgot. Here's your allowance, dear. Have fun at the fair. 200 gold. That's pretty nice. A lot better than Benjamin. <sighs> Alright, so we could head to the fair. Or we could go talk to people. We're gonna go talk to people. Oh, right. Uh, hard to believe Guardia is now 1,000 years old, and our king is the 33rd descendant to the throne. That just seems odd, Ted. Why did you put... Yeah, because this was translated by Ted Woolsey. I'm sort of wondering why he put that there. Okay. You can dash... Well, that's not what I wanted to do. Press A to go in when you see a title appear. B will let you dash around. That brat, Luca, says she's made the discovery of a lifetime. You're a jerk. I'm so happy I could scream. Yeah, why? She won't tell us. Okay, then. Alright, yeah, you can actually... Um, let's see, if we come here, we will see a doll. Visit our stall in Lean Square. Yeah, they're, they're closed for the party. The inn. What do you got to say? Uh, no, I don't need to stay. Thanks. See you around. Been to the fair yet? No, not yet. Well, get going then. You'll have to wait a thousand years for another millennial fair. Well, yes. And then the pickery will come. No, wait. Come on in. Take your bloody time. I'd rather serve you than go to the fair anyway. <laughs> uh... Are you buying? Sure. Thanks. I'll play you a song. This is kind of pretty, isn't it? Yeah, it's one of the themes we'll hear later. Remember the earthquake we just had? No. I was asleep. No? Airhead, huh? Well, never mind. What do you say if I say yes? We've been having too many. Something's wrong. Hope the big one isn't coming. What is this, Southern California? Huh. This box has been in the family for generations. Open it, and you may have what's inside. Sealed by a mysterious force. It's called a lock. No. No, no. It's a little more complicated than that, and we'll deal with that later. Fairly later. Okay. Uh, market, residence, right. Uh, if we come down here, you cannot run on this. Lucas house! If we come in here. Back here. No. Up here. Nobody here. But us chickens. And here. Oh, hi, Chrono. Luca's off at Lean Square with her father, Taban, unveiling her new invention. Yeah, um, I'm not sure it really mentions this, but she's sitting down because she lost the use of her legs. You sort of want to do this because her name will be important later, so remember that it is Lara. Alright, well, we could go down... other places. Oh, yeah, if we do this. See, we get people. Alright, everyone, let's have some fun. Yeah, these people are all crossing the bridge to go to the fair. Always wanted to go to a thousandth anniversary. Yeah, are you that l Are you old enough to remember both the first? <laughs> Going to the fair. Yeah, they're not saying much. We could head down farther, but honestly, there's not a lot of point. Let's just head to the fair. 
There, we'll head down there later. And there are some good things to do, but, well, you'll see. Yeah, I just don't want to, I just don't want to do it now, so. Lean square. Oh, actually, there are some other things I, there is something else I wanted to do back in this village. Which is called truce. Uh, this is our house, by the way. Somehow I missed this. Uh, let's see. Hi, do you know about our establishment? No. This is the mayor's education center. Think of it as a workshop for beginners. You can take the things you find here. Yeah, like, oh, say. A tonic. That's a potion, basically. Need a brief weapons and items seminar? Nah, nah, that's fine. Um, that guy, of course, shows you what save points look like. The kids will tell you useful things. I will actually go over most of this stuff myself. Um, but we get 100 gold here. We talk to this gentleman. Want my advice? Yes, sir, I do. You've got potential. You'll learn a number of techniques as you progress. Techniques are magic attacks that also utilize your weapons. You'll acquire them with discipline. What he means is grinding. Well, maybe not grinding, but as you love, as you beat enemies, you will get tech points. What do you have to say? Anything? Want to learn about damage in battle? Uh, no, I'm good. What do I do for turn? My, my, you're so enthusiastic. Use this to help you get started. Yeah, we get some money from him, too. So, now we're going to go to Lean's, yeah, square. Other than that, I mean, anything else in here really is stuff I can tell you about. And will. I mean, why else are you watching an LP? So now here we actually are at the fair, and we'll stay at the fair. What do you have to say, cutie? Those runners are busy racing, so they won't talk to you. They will, however, possibly run you over. Yes, they're racing in costumes. Except for the cat, I think he's just a real cat. Welcome to the Millennial Fair! Have fun! Uh, given the, the color of this guy's skin and hair, I thought that was his forehead, He was that he was bald and bulbous. No, he's just got an Egon... Sp and real Ghostbusters Egon Spengler pompadour. See? Can't anyone beat G.I. Jogger? Well, and too late. Uh, if you talk to this guy before the race begins, you can bet. Well, not bet. I mean, he'll just tell you. I heard Luca and her dad have made another crazy invention. Hope it doesn't blow up like all the others. Yeah. This is Lean Square. They say people who hear Lean's bell ring will have interesting and happy lives. Yeah, in the Chinese curse sense of interesting. Uh, let's see. Uh, no, I don't need any of this. But, you know, we got merchants here. Buy. I'm gonna buy a bronze helm. That'll be useful. And is there a way to equip it? Mm, apparently not. Okay. How do I get out of here? Okay, great. I've got one. Now, how do I get out of here? There we go. Sheesh, why wasn't it doing that? Okay, that was not what I wanted to do. Now we can go into here, and we can equip that, I hope. Great. Okay, is there a way to equip it? Ah, sorry, this is... Really? Okay, I know we should be able to do this. Okay. Weapon, wood sword. Ah, right. Um, helmet. All right. Dang it. Sorry, I keep hitting B when I want to hit A. There we go. That, that's better. Let's get out of here. Okay, so now we got a little more defense. Sorry, guys. Okay. Well, we can talk to all of these people. Yeah, if you talk to him before it starts... Uh, that guy's not... We don't want to talk to him just yet. We'll talk to these people later. What's the big deal? So what if we won a war against a wizard hundreds of years ago? Well, it's a good excuse for fireworks. I mean, where I'm from, we won a war against some, you know, British people 200 years ago, plus. It's a good excuse to have a day off. So, yeah. How did that happen? Like, the physics were totally all wrong. Hey! 
Sorry? Ouch, that hurt. Dude, that was not my fault. I'm so sorry, are you okay? Uh-oh, my pendant. Okay, she's looking for her pendant, but first... Oh no, don't tell me I lost it. You want to talk to her first. And then pick up the pendant. And talk to her again. Oh, thank goodness, my pendant. It has a lot of sentimental value. May I have it back? Of course. I came to see the festival. You live in this town, don't you? Sort of. I feel a little out of place here. Would you mind if I walked around with you for a while? Sure. You're a true gentleman. Mm, not really. Oh, by the way, my name is... Uh, Marley! Oh, nope. Let's go back and try that again. Um, Marley, and you're... Uh, I'm, uh, Cratchit. Chrono? What a nice name! Pleased to meet you. Now lead on. Okay, so now that we got Marley around... Okay, this gentleman... The currency of the fair is silver points. If you get silver points and you don't have anything else to do with them, you can get money for them. But we don't, and it's not a lot of money anyway, and this game is not hugely about money. Talk to this guy. No time to talk. I'm just sitting down for my lunch. No, you're not. That's his lunch. We're not going near it. Keep going if you want to demo Luca's ba robot battle trainer. Collect silver points if you win. Yeah, silver points are kind of useful, so we are going to. Yeah, they call me Gato. I have metal joints. Beat me up and earn 15 silver points. I'm not sure if it's singing or rapping. I can sing, but I don't have any music. And, uh, okay, Krona's just going to attack. This is the very, very basic battle. You can't move around, and Gato doesn't particularly move around. I mean, I could... Ow. Dude. Okay, um, attack, and attack, because right now we don't actually have any techs worth talking about. Um, but, guy, you see how Gato moves around even though we don't? Ten experience points, got a tech point. Yeah, that, we level those up and we learn new techs. I lost, you won, here's 15 points. Now wasn't that fun, I guess. Your stomach scares me? Right, so you may want to do that a few times. Build up some silver points. Silver points are kind of useful for something we'll be doing much, 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 much later. All right. Do not eat the man's lunch, because there is an event later in the game that, remember how I said you need to go check on Marley first and then her pendant? Well, for the same event, you need to not eat the man's lunch. Talk to the little girl. Oh, where's my cat? Well, we saw a cat, didn't we? Yes, yes we did. Let's go talk to the kitty. And now the kitty will follow us. The kitty's pathfinding AI is a bit funky, but for the most part, the kitty will clip. Just swing really wide and the kitty will be fine. See? Just don't accidentally kick the kitty. I I've had that happen. Kitty. Now talk to the little girl again. You brought back my cat! Thank you! You're so sweet, Chrono. And there's the kitty. Now over here is another game that you can do to win silver points, but you almost need... It's a soda guzzling contest. Mm -hmm. You kind of need um, turbo to win it. Or be really good at tapping buttons. I'm not. After pressing the B button and dashing here and there, I'm pooped. But this dance has rejuvenated me! Uh, a prehistoric dance. How enchanting. If you say so. Catchy rhythm. Use the X, Y, L, and R buttons to dance. Okay, you don't have to do it in rhythm. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like, if I hit X, we get to do... We do that. That's... Uh, if I hit Y, we do that. Left. We laugh. Right? We freak out. Yeah, it's it's just a little fun. You don't do it in rhythm or anything. La di da di da. Got some spending money from the elder. Yes, yes, you did. All right. So let's go check out the fair, the rest of the fair, with Marley. 
because there's still one more thing we have to do. Actually, there's a few more things we have to do. All right, we talked to that guy. Let's talk to this lady. This kingdom's been through a lot, like the war against Magus 400 years ago. Thank goodness things are so peaceful now. Lady, don't say things like that. It invites trouble. Press the A button while facing the bell. Judge your distance carefully and press the A button again. Okay, so... And there I ran the bell, rang the bell. Yeah, you can grind up silver points that way, but oi. Yeah, and I, I don't really want to wait for them to get back before I, and try that. So, uh, how many silver points do I have? Talk to this guy. This is the renowned Tent of Horror. Spend your 16 silver points here. Parental discretion advised. Yeah, there are three games in here. 10, 40, and 80 silver points. Uh, the only one you ever need to play is the 40, and you play that one a lot later. But I will play the 10, just to show off. Yeah, that's not creepy. Welcome to Norstein Beckler's lab. The spine-tingling show is about to start. How many silver points would you like to pay? Just ten. That's all I got. Okay, I suck at this. I'm Vix. Biggs. I'm Wedge. And I'm Piet. That's Admiral Piet. He who gets um, promoted after Darth Vader strangles the guy with a uh, lack of faith. Okay. Okay. Ah, shit. Find Vix. Uh, I'm Vix. Is it that obvious? It's a Poyozo doll. It'll spruce up your room. Yeah, it. These things are useless, but they're kind of cute. Uh, it's it's just a thing. Now we talk to this gentleman. Buy something from Melchior the swordsmith. Well, let's see what you got. And yeah, Melchior. That's an interesting name. We got an iron blade, which we could get. That, But we're going to find one fairly soon, and I don't think we really need it. And the, the load sword, we can't afford it. I live on the continent of the east. Come see me sometime. By the way, could you talk that young lady into selling her pendant? No. Always make sure you say no. I heard this guy pays big bucks for charms, weapons, pendants, and other rarities. Yeah, he does, but uh, you... She won't sell it anyway, and, uh, yeah. Yep, hope it doesn't blow up like all the others. They ought to be ready now. Make for the far side of the square. This is going to be fun. Come on, Chrono. I missed a little, uh, let's see if that guy's still there. Oh, good, he is. I hate fairs. Say, do you know the latest gossip? Nope. Just between us, I heard that the king is distressed over his tomboy of a daughter. Just once, I would like to see how wild she really is. Uh, you know what, Marley? Um... Luca will wait because it's that kind of game. Let's go explore the rest of the world. Like, I want you to meet my mom because she doesn't believe I have friends. Uh, it's because I don't talk much. My, how nice. I've only seen you with Luca. Who's your pretty new friend? Hi, I'm Marley. Eh, uh, Marley? I'm sure I've seen you before, dear. Now, where was that? Eep. G. I wonder. <sighs> yeah, they mentioned the king's tomboy of a daughter. Uh, and in fact, if we head up and try to go to the castle, we will just basically... Um, if we head up and try and go to the castle, we will just... Um, get. She'll go, let's go check out the fair. If you haven't guessed who this character is by now, y you really really have never played a game we have the inn where I don't think we need to stay but it's nice to look in the market what do you have to say we could buy but honestly again we'll get it we'll get a better sword so yeah never mind uh, let's see snail stop what in the world is oh it's a it's the cafe some monsters coexist with humans, like that piano player. 400 years ago, a woman named Fiona died trying to save the great forest that once flourished to the north. How sad. Hmm. Everyone's over at the festival. What fools? Alright. 
I'm the piano man. Play a sad one, Joe. Or should it be Joel? Okay, well, we've heard this a lot. We can get him to play something else, too. What do you got to say? I've got the best jerky in town, but I'm saving it. I might let some ghost for, say, 9,900 gold. Fuck no! I didn't think so. Dude, that's usury. Er, no, not really. That's excessive interest. Highway robbery is what it is. Play something upbeat. We'll hear this later in the game, too. Pretty rockin', though, innit? Alright, well, let's see. And we could take... Let's see. Go here. What do you got to say? I want to go to the festival, too. Grandpa and Grandma went to the thousandth anniversary in truce. We're keeping an eye on things here. If you say so. Okay, what else have we got? The Mayor's Manor. And yeah, this is the town of Pore. The children are slipping away from us. It's so sad. Stop leaving banana peels everywhere. The person I hate most? My dad, of course. Yeah, and that's not just standard teenager-ish. Dad loves money more than he loves me. <laughs> I run this town, and I'm so rich I don't know what to do with it all. Give you ten gold if you act like a chicken. No. Boring. Yeah, you're a dick. <sighs> anyway, we got more of those boxes. Everyone says Daddy's greedy. They're lying, right? No. Nope. Sorry, kid. And I'm gonna steal the shelter. That's, uh, it's like a tent, basically. You use it on a save space. Save space. A save thing. Now, we could take, if we wanted, we could go take a, uh, ferry ride back up to Truce. Um, which is possibly faster, but not by much. So we're just gonna walk, and we are actually gonna continue on with the plot. Yeah, it's, it's an RPG. Beginning's always a little slow. Alright, now let's go and see Luca and her dad. Right, uh, this way. Hold your horses! I want to get some candy! Okay, so now, do not touch the controller. Much like in Earthbound when you're giving the password, do not touch the controller. Um, because she, if you do... Hi, I'd like some of this. Sure, young lady. Thanks for waiting. I again, that one, that event later, whether you tried to move before she was ready will be a will affect things. Step right up. Any of you who have the time and the courage. Our super dimension warp is the invention of the century. Seriously, nobody's got cars, but you've got teleporters. To use it, jump up here. And you'll get teleported here. It's the masterwork of my beautiful daughter, Luca. Luca's inventions never work right. Check out that girl's glasses. She could probably see the back side of the moon with those. Hey! No picking on the people with glasses, dude. Give it a try, kid. Oh, it's you, Chrono. Chrono! Where have you been? No one wants to try the telepod. How about you? It looks like fun. I'll watch while you try it out. Sure thing. Just hop onto the left pod. I have trouble with right and left, but it's pretty obvious from context. All systems on! Energize! Suddenly, I have a great sympathy with Bones McCoy. Begin energy transfer! Okay. Oh, wow, that was great! Uh, am I missing an eyebrow or any other parts? So how was it? Want to try it again? It worked? I can't believe it! Er, uh, a thrilling display of science at its best, ladies and gentlemen. And I guess even her inventions have to work sometimes. <laughs> He's still focused on Luca's glasses. What a kick! I want to try it too! Huh? Hey, Chrono, how did you pick up a cutie like her? Hang on, Chrono, I'll be right there. Behold, ladies and gentlemen, as this vision of loveliness steps aboard the machine. Don't go away, I'll be right back. You're sure about this? 
there's still time to change your mind. No way! Throw the switch! Okay, everyone, let's give her a great big hand when she reappears! Could you apply your foreshadowing with a bigger mallet? All systems on! Yep, begin energy transfer. I teleported home one night with Ron and Sid and Meg. Ron stole Meggie's heart away, and I got Sidney's leg. Look, I like Hitchhiker's Guide. What's happening? My pendant. It's... This is probably not good. Huh? Uh oh. That's not good. Uh huh. Mm. Huka, where is she? Show's over, folks. Let's head along now. Okay. Seriously? What's going on, Luca? Where is she? The way she disappeared. It couldn't have been the telepod. The warp field seemed affected by her pendant. What are we going to do now? She's so familiar. I know I've seen her somewhere. Oh, I can move. Well, let's go pick up the pendant. Chrono! You're actually going to do it? What a fine lad! Listen, I don't know where this machine is going to send you, but we haven't any other choice. Won't they both be lost? This is our only hope. That pendant seems to be the key, so hang on to it, Chrono, and brace yourself. All systems on. Begin energy transfer. Power to full, Roger. Give me more power! Er, 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 er. There, we did it! John? I'll follow you after I know what went wrong. Good luck, Chrono! Whoa, trippy. I feel like I should be seeing a spiteful crow up here and then steal one of my bread rolls. Ugh. Dude. Either that, or I'm about to run into Richard Dean Anderson and Michael Shanks. Okay. Well, how do I head out of here? Uh-oh. Yeah, blue imps. So we get our first real battle. Attack. Um, that guy. You can do your attacks, and I might try one, depending on how these guys move. Uh, let's see. Because they do move around. Okay, let's see. Attack. Nah. Some of my techs, I can do some interesting stuff, but I only have one tech right now. Oh, no, I don't have any techs. Techs. Fine, you die. Um, so yeah, never mind. Well, yep, got three tech points, found some money. All right, let's go. Oh boy. Yeah, guess what? We get airdropped blue imps. Well, fine. Whoa, we're kind of uh low on uh let's uh, let's use a tonic on ourselves. Yeah, thanks. Just just in case. Cuz uh these guys could do some nasty damage to us probably. Luckily, I mean luckily we can kill them in one shot. But Yep. Let's see. Got experience points, tech points. Got to level up and learn Cyclone. That's our first tech. It will uh, take out... We got a tonic. Good. Do you make up the one I used. Got a power glove. That is another equipable. Let's go in. And a... Um, yeah, it's an accessory. It ups our power, which we kind of want. So... Yeah, the bandana ups our speed, but I think right now we're good. We'd rather have the power glove. So head out this way. 
Yeah, we got another fight. Okay, and since we've learned the uh, techs, the, yeah, okay, we're gonna use a tech, Cyclone. Make sure to select the Rolly, good. Because the Cyclone kills everybody in a group and we want to hit the guy in the middle. You select him because his it will his will be the pointer that is we got a tonic from that. That's nice. His will be the pointer that is not Where are we? Question mark. Oh boy. So yeah, it, it's been 35 minutes about